evidence so that perpetrators can be identified and action taken in court and used in evidence at a later date. So that is really the very, very basic principle of why people buy this type of vehicle. It's rapidly deployable, unlike fixed CCTV, you can just put it anywhere. Particularly football matches when the, the fans get together, they organise fights, they'll do it outside the city, they'll, they'll find a pub that's in the suburbs to meet up where there's no uh, static CCTV. And the, the vehicle can be pulled in. Sorry, the vehicle can be pulled in at uh, short notice. I've got three examples that just really underline that: Cumbria, West Midlands, and uh, Barnsley. Yeah. In Cumbria, they use it uh, predominantly for their match days, as do a number of other uh, authorities. Rapidly deployable. Yeah. They've used this particular van for the last 12 months. Prior to that, they had a smaller vehicle, which doubled as a cell van. And, uh, because they saw the value in this, they wanted something designated. High visibility, specifically as a deterrent. And they can control the cameras from the front or the back, as in this demo vehicle. And they've got a 360 degree rotational, uh, high magnification zoom on the top camera. A big improvement to what they had before. alcohol problems which again city centre is it's, it's a sign of the times it happens a lot not just with football crowds but city centre at night um, and again it's that very simple message if it doesn't work as a deterrent then they can record the uh, record the evidence of um, community safety antisocial behaviour in the community gangs of teenagers gathering on street corners and playing fields this particular uh, authority, they found that if they dispatched an officer, as soon as the kids saw the car, they just ran away and congregated somewhere else, and they couldn't actually gather any evidence for that. Um, back to the football theme in Carlisle, specifically, they've got a problem where by the train station is two miles from the football ground, so it's very difficult and takes a lot of manpower for the police to shepherd those fans uh, in safety for their own and everybody else's. One van can do the work of several police officers 